Welcome to Itrafik. In this video, I am giving some important questions that is from C programming, chapter 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I have added only the two, uh, subjective questions. I have not added MCQ, fill in the blanks, and true and false because it is already in other district solved papers. From there, you can prepare. Here are some questions which you can learn or by heart for your examination from chapter 4 loop here you will see mostly definition of loop different type of loop its types definition like while loop do while loop for loop difference between while do while entry control exit control then parts of for loop this type of programs only and for programming parts you will see mainly prime number program summation of the digit to extract the digit of number and this summation of the pattern this practical programs are important after that we'll come to next chapter nested loop here very less theory questions are there so most probably you might get a program as a theory question so here you will see what is nested loop why do we use it advantages of using nested loop outer and inner loop then why do we use same type of loop as outer and inner loop do we need to this one uh, actually it is no we cannot use any type of loop so this type of question you can see for theory and programs i think these are the most important program this one one two one one two three two one this program is the most important one and these patterns whatever programs are there all the programs you can see once but I have given some here important one. It might come, it might not come also. So better if you practice all the programs from this chapter. Because here very less theory questions are there. After that will come next chapter 6, array in C. Here define array. Why do we use array in a computer? Sorry, C program, not computer program. Then can we store both integer and float types of data in single array? write a C program this one you will see it's important and the next one also declare an array and copy the element to the second array this one is also important in examination point of view write a C program to store your name and mother name this is also important after that limitation of array it's also important and after that this might come in one mark question or two mark question what is base address what is array element what is the index of the first array element what is the index of the last array element then syntax to declare an integer array what is index sorry string array then which header file is walk used to work with string related function this is string dot h then which function is used to find the number of character in a string it is strlen it's also come which header file is used with strlen function you will write this one string dot h then what is the last character of any string array? It is null character. Then use of puts and gets. Puts function, it is used to display the string array on the screen. And gets function, it is used to take input and string array. Then functions. Here many questions are there. These questions are, I think, it's important one. First, what is a function? Why do we use? Then explain different type of function. What are the different component of a function? Define user defined function, define library function, two library function that will be printf, scanf, then define caller and call you with example, what is recursive function, why do we use it, then write the syntax, this one already from exercise, so you can easily write, what is global variable, why do we use it, then also define local variable and global variable, then this is also from exercise, you have to write a function to define the square of a number then what is recursive uh, this one by using recursive function you have to find the summation of n natural numbers after that uh, what is function parameter what is the another name of it the another name is arguments then can we declare a function without parameter yes we can declare what is void function when the function return nothing it is void function how many values a function can return it is a function can return only one value then what is zero argument function when the function doesn't have any parameter or when the function doesn't have any argument it is known as zero argument function when does a function start its execution 
when we call the function then can we declare it and define a function together yes after that you can write this one you will declare a function after that put the bracket and write the definition together so this way you can write the explanation part after that what is return type of a function every function returns some values to the caller function so this is known as return type of the function then what is the last statement of a function definition it is return return is the last statement of function definition after that the last chapter pointer in c what is a pointer why, why do we use it then which symbol or character is used to declare a pointer it is asterisk symbol advantage of pointer size of use of size of operator so these are some questions from pointer chapter i think if you prepare this much question it is enough and also this finding the output this one is very much important i don't think that they will change the question whatever have in book that one only will get so practice these questions this finding the output directly from the book only so these are the some questions from c programming which is very much important for your examination point of view and this is only to get a good mark if you want to score full mark or 100 then you have to see everything you should not go for important as you have already got a lesson in general mathematics though it was the mistake of seba because they have not added the question in syllabus but still they gave in question paper so i will suggest who want to score very good mark you should see everything and who want to just get a good mark like letter mark you can see this important question for your examination definitely most of the question will be common from here and for the short questions please go through the already solved question papers i have already solved 12 or 13 question papers i will put the playlist link in comment section you can see from there and if you didn't find answer of any question from here you can write in comment section and even if you are have any doubt on any question that also you can write in comment section also you can contact me in tele telegram channels thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye